Hello guys on YouTube, welcome to Review Me and today I'm doing the review of the Dot Point WMFUG942. So I had this Anusi in my room and if you guys do not know what happened was you didn't see the video when this got when it got replaced and it had to go. Um it's called um the type the video is called um Guys I got some news. Um, but what happened was, if you don't know what happened, the door lock, basically, it says it was unlocked, but the problem was it actually wasn't allowing me to open the door, it was in the locked position still, so I kept having to bang it a few times to actually get it to open, and it was just a pain in the bum, and also the spider, I think, went, or the bearings or something, because it was making a terrible noise, I actually done a wash load in the Zanus, and you can actually hear on the spin, there was actually some horrible noises coming from it, so we just sold it on... There was no point. I didn't want to go near it. It's just it was crap anyway. I didn't really like the machine anyway. So I got this machine, and for for a second we thought, oh, it's not going to fit in. But we measured it and everything, and it fits actually perfectly. It doesn't take that much up space. It does might do on camera, but it actually doesn't. It's really not even that bad at all. Um, so yeah, they I got a. We got this from Curry's, it was on sale, it was on £249, which was its previously the 400 and something, which was ridiculous, so that's why we decided to get it. It's a 9 kilogram capacity with an A++ energy rating and 1400 RPM um, spin. Um, now, before I had the plumbing, and the previously way it was, we still got to fill up the hole where the Zanussi drain was. Well, the hot points drain was in there for a bit, but we realised after, like a few days after we got this in, and we, because we actually temporary, we had a drain, we had a fill going all the way up there to the bathroom, and we had hoses all coming, it was pretty annoying because it went through the, we could easily trip over it or something, but it did work, but what the problem was, is that the drain was an overflow pipe, which can go to over into the, um, our neighbors gardens and the windows and we couldn't do that so what we had to do was a completely not uh, I couldn't use it for about a month so it was been sitting here for a month not even being used but a week ago I got the plumbing done so now I can literally use it whenever I want and not worry and I can go away from it. I don't have to manually do anything. It's all automatic like a normal washing machine would be. So the drain goes all the way up here, around here, goes dips down, and it comes all the way down here and goes all the way up there to the bathroom's drain. Now the fill is connected to the bath as well, which runs it's I no, it's not actually connected to the bath because the bath's um, water supply is connected to the this pump that comes from the tank. This one's run from the street, which he the plumber done run it from here, which goes all the way. Um so it's actually separate from the bath. The so if the if the bath is running, it won't it won't affect I think it does affect the pressure a little bit, but not as like normal it would be. So it's not even that bad. So um, yeah, the drain's fine. It drains pretty fast. It pretty. I think it drains a little bit slower than it used to. I can't really remember, but it's fine. It does drain fine. It and it chugs and everything. It's all good. Um, so yeah, the plums plumbing's all good and it's all connected up and all that. So I'm going to do. Now I'm going to do it, show you the full review. So now they've got the detergent drawer. We got softener, um, yeah, softener, pre-wash and main wash. It's not actually a pre-wash option on this thing, so that's pretty much useless. Um, it's just main wash and softener really on this machine. Um, got the power on button, and we got 16 different cycles to choose from. Well, pretty much 14 really, but yeah, pretty much 16, yeah, in total. Um, temperature you can change, the spin and the delay, key lock which is a child lock, easy iron and extra rinse and if you hold these buttons together for about 3 to 5 seconds you go into auto clean cycle mode which um, just takes oh, just an hour and 20 something minutes and it goes really fast with a lot of water and it cleans the drum out completely which is really really good feature which my old hot point didn't have. Um, 
so that's a big bonus. Um, the Smart, which you can choose between Performance Plus, Auto Plus and Speed Plus is what you can do on cycles. So Performance Plus is basically adds a 30 minute soak onto the um, cycle. Auto Plus, it does everything for you and it just, um, it weighs it and determines everything for you. It even does it on this one and this one as well. Um, but it, if you leave it on auto, it does everything the best for you. For um, it weighs it better than it gives you the correct like amount of time for that load. Um, and speed plus just like it's like time saver pretty much. It just um, makes the cycle much more quicker. So here's the drum door seal all clean. That was that little white thing there. I don't even know what it is. It was there since day one um, when I opened it. Um, drain holes there, which my Zanussi didn't have, it didn't even have any drain holes, so I had to always get a wipe and wipe all the water out of it, it was extremely annoying. Um, here goes the classic Indusec drum, um, not many people like them, I don't really mind them to be honest now, because I've sort of got used to them, grown on them, because um, my auntie used to have an Indusec and I've gotten used to these drums now. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a really really good machine, nice and big. And this is the extension because normally if it wasn't, if it was a seven or six kilogram drum, it would be just like that. But as you can see, this little bit is the extension on for the eight and nine kilogram models. Um, funnily enough, the eight kilogram, the nine kilogram have the exact same drum. So yeah. Um, right then, so down here this strip, and then you've got the pump assembly there. Um, down now, I'm not going to take it off because it's just a pain in the bum to get it off. Um, because it's very flimsy, this one, I don't want to break it. So, let's turn the machine on and show you all the cycles and options. So, you get that classic new hot point startup tune now. Um, so number one is anti stain, you can go up to a maximum of 40 degrees, yeah, 40 degrees and 1400 rpm. The delay option, which you can go all the way up. 24 hours and then off. I don't know. Yeah, crap. I went. Do that again. Go all the way up to 24 hours and then off. It will just flash a few seconds and it will cancel. It will get rid of that. There you go. And you can do extra rinse, which adds an extra rinse on. I can't. I don't know how many rinses this does stand. I can't remember. Easy iron. Uh, oh, you can't do it on this one. Um, key lock. As I'll demonstrate, you just hold it for three seconds. And you can't do any of the options. Oh yeah, you have to hold it three seconds to turn the machine off on child lock. I didn't even know that, <laughs> um, which is really neat. My old hot point, if it was on child lock, you can't even turn it off. Literally, it was just really annoying. You had to disable the child lock. Um, yeah, so that's number one. Number two is whites it can go oh yeah these two cycles at the moment can't do the um smart thing it just you can't choose any of them things um you can go up to a maximum of four or oh, 60 degrees on whites and yeah 1400 rpm for that um just going to reset it I, I might do this a lot in the in this bit in this part of the video because always it'll start flashing and saying oh yeah you can't do this and that for this cycle and all that so, number three is cotton standard 60, which can go all the way up to 90 degrees and 1400 RPM and can do the extra rinse and can do the easy iron, which if you do select easy iron, it will reduce it to 600 RPM. And if you discard um, that, it will go back up to whatever um, spin speed, higher spin speed you had. Um, number four. Oh yeah. Also, this cycle can allow the smart thing. So, performance plus will add that thirty minute soak on, and the speed plus will reduce it so from three hours. So it takes fifteen minutes off. And this will also it weighs it as well. So it it will also. I think this cycle weighs it. Um, I know cotton standard forty doesn't weigh. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it does. Um. Some cycles don't, like Fast Wash 30 and Fast Wash 60 and all that. Um, yeah. So, number four, Cotton Standard 40, which is an eco wash. 
Um, 40 can go up to 40 degrees, 1400 RPM, can do the extra rinse and easy iron. Um, and then you can do the all these, the performance plus, all, uh, speed plus and auto plus. Number five is synthetics, which I'm going to use most often. Um, six, you can go up to 60 degrees, 1000 RPM. And on previous hot points, you could only go up to 800, so they've improved that. Which is awesome because I didn't like it when it was really low spin. Um, you can do this performance plus and speed plus and all that, which is all good. Number five, number six is oh, it's going to flash again. Um, number six is anti allergy plus. I'm not going to use that much often. I'm not going to use cotton standard forty that often. Because I did it today and it took a hell of a long to wash and uh, it doesn't really heat up to 40, it heats up to like 30 which is pretty and not really good, I might as well just select 30. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's not really that good. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to use that much often. So uh, number 6, anti allergy Plus. This can go all the way up to 60 and 1400 RPM. Can do the oh, can't do the extra rinse and can't do the easy iron. Now on number, uh, yeah, number three is the only cycle that can do 90 degree wash. Every other cycle can't go up to 90. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the auto clean temperature is. I think it's it, some people say it's 70, some people say it's 90. I'm not 100% sure. Um, most likely it'll probably be 70 because that's what manufacturers are doing. I really don't understand that. Why not just be 90 and proper give the machine a boil out? Just don't get that. Um, num number 7, which is Baby, which can do 40. I thought it could go up to like 60 or something. That's a bit weird. Um, can go up to 1000 RPM and can do the smart... Thing. Oh, you can't do speed plus on this cycle. You can only do auto plus and performance plus. Um, number eight, which is Ben and Buff, which I will be using quite often, as I like to, because um, this is like meant for like you know towels and bedding and stuff like that. Um, you can go all the way up to sixty degrees. I wish this could do a ninety as well, um, because you know if you want to boil your towels out. Um, could be really useful. You could go all the way up to 1400 and you can do the extra and you can do the easy iron Which I do know that's why I knew straight away <laughs> um, You can do all the options speed plus and auto plus and um, Performance plus. notice how the lights are smaller um, Like the lower the thing like that's a medium like for auto plus and the speed plus is like a really small little light And the performance plus is quite big the biggest light <laughs> small little um touch there um number nine which i will be using quite often fast was 60 you can go up all the way up to 60 degrees and just takes an hour my samsung which is on super speed which you can add intensive and i added an extra rinse so you can do free rinses and this can do up, go up to free rinses as well that can only go up to 40 degrees this can go up to 60 degrees and if you have intensive on and one extra rinse, it goes up to an hour and 17 minutes, but can still go to go up to 40. Even if you take away intensive, it just takes an hour and seven minutes. And this actually beats the Samsung because it actually can go up to 60 degrees, which is amazing. So, yeah, quite cool. Um, you can do the easy iron. Um, yeah, this is the most cycle I'll be using. Most cycle. It'll be between 60, 50 and 40. Possibly maybe 31 day if it's delicate items. Um, and yeah, it's yeah, a really good cycle. This is a cycle I'm not going to be using much often. Is a quick wash. Many uh, washing machine enthusiasts know quick washes is terrible for a washing machine to be used on a daily basis. It can ruin the machine because it's not getting uh, hot enough for the machine to kill the back like the enzymes especially if you're using like powder and liquids and all that it's not going to dissolve properly especially pods because it doesn't have enough time to dissolve in because it has to be quite warm and has to be going around for a while for it to fully dissolve now this is just going to take like under 
15 minutes or less to wash so it's not even going to dissolve properly and you're just going to get mold all over the seal your machine's going to start to smell and you're going to just have heater problems and you're just going to yeah it's going to affect all sorts of the machine so please don't use this on a daily basis if you want to use a quick daily wash on a daily basis i would recommend using number nine which is fast wash 60 do extra rinse and do whatever temperature because this can go up to 60 this one on fast wash 30 can only go up to 30 degrees and it can only do 800 rpm but the um fast wash 60 you can go up to 1400 rpm and if you need it to be quick as possible and it needs to go on a 60 wash perfect because it just takes an hour also i recommend using if you like quick washes and you don't really like them being very long use synthetics because this is a not bad cycle you've got 60 degrees and you can do all the options on this as well you can't do the options on number nine because it cancels it out right number 11 um, which is cotton standard 20 which I won't be using that much as I said before I don't like using low temperature washes um, for now and then if you want to be on the eco side and good for the environment then go ahead but don't do it all the time because you will cause problems in the machine um, performance plus and you can do all that stuff um, can only go up to 20 degrees or cold and you can go up to 1400 rpm this one does really deep rinses as well apparently um, number 12 is shirts you can't do any of smart thing you can go up to 40 degrees and you can only do 600 rpm um, number 13 is wall that can go up to 40 degrees and 800 rpm you can do extra rinse and you can't do easy iron number 12 i forgot to do the um this bit you can do extra rinse and you can do easy iron number 14 which is the last cycle um which is delicate you can only go up to 30 degrees and no spin and you can't do yeah you can't do any of the options and even the smart thing either if you're wondering what this symbol means that's the anti crease symbol so let's just say you're putting it on number one this is does the full thing um some cycles like number nine doesn't do the anti crease it can't it's to save time um so yeah that's what so if you want a full full cycle so that's the wash rinse spin and anti crease and also a quick um, few drains in, in it as well to make sure the water is out of the system. So, oh yeah, and we've got rinse only, which can only wash it cold, obviously, because it's only it's for rinse cycle. 1400 RPM. Um, default, it will do two rinses, and if you want three rinses, it will go from 36 to 50 minutes. Um, and it will also add an intermediate spin. Um, you can do, oh no, you can't do easy iron. You can't do any smart things. Spin only. Can't do the temperature because it's just doing, there's no water going in it or not doing a wash. Um, you can go all the way up to 1400 and you can't do any of the options. And you can't do the smart thing. So that was all the options and review of this um, hot point washing machine. The, the WMFUG942. Um, just my final thoughts is a great machine at the moment it hasn't had any problems which I don't well I'm hopefully I'm the only thing that I've been worried about this machine I really don't want to get the F05 error code which is quite common with these machines um, if I do get it then I obviously know what it is it's the if you don't know what it is it's the pressure switch they go quite commonly on these machines but this is a quite newer model so hopefully I won't be affected with it hopefully they've actually figured out with the pressure switches and not making hopefully made them better um but yeah if you really enjoyed this video guys please slap a like and comment and tell me your thoughts of the video um and yeah if you yeah i've noticed yeah i just remembered when i did get this machine i noticed quite a few dislikes because not many people like the new hot points but there's not many machines that i really do like anymore there's always just pros and cons with them it's just ridiculous now even though this does have a few cons with it it's it's you know, it's a really good machine like it washes really well i do like the wash actions it does on it so and i've always liked hot point all my life really unless hot point uh, unless whirlpool doesn't f it up then i'll 
be really, I'll be hot point, I'll be with hot point forever. So, yeah, if you really enjoy this video, guys, please give it a like, subscribe if you really enjoy my channel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uploading more videos of this, full cycles of this, so please get ready for that. Um, there'll be a ton, there'll be a loads more videos covering most of the cycles i will try to do all of them for you guys eventually i will do it all but yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye